We're using the time value of money calculator, this TMV calculator. And I've got a simple example here of how we might do something. Remember, the, the mode is whether the payments are becoming coming at the end of the period or the beginning of the period. Most of the time, we'll be using end. Also, usually, um, the periods are going to be years. Uh, and if, the, if, if the compound interest is compounded yearly, then we would put this on yearly. If it's done monthly, we'd put it on monthly. So let's put it on yearly, which is annually. So let's just say that you've got, let's say, $10,000 in the bank right now. Now, we need to put this in as a negative $10,000. Uh, thinking about it, it's not yours. It's um, it's in the bank. So what you want to do is, is see what it uh, is going to grow to. Let's say you already know what it's going to grow to. Let's say you're the... In the future, it's going to be $20,000. You want to know what is the interest rate you would need to get to $20,000. And let's say you're going to say in five years. So the periods in this case would be years, and you'd put five. So now over here, you've got the button. So the present value is $10,000 in the bank, negative. Uh, the future value you want to be $20,000. You already know those. So you don't press these buttons. But what you want to do is figure out what's the interest rate. So you click on interest rate, and it would show you that you would need a 14% interest rate to get to $20,000 in five years.